The Stan original series, £10 Poms, is now streaming only on Stan. My name's Rob Collins and I play Ron. Good to be on the other side of it. You can say that again. Good to be on the other side of it. <laughs> Go on. No one's looking. Ron works at the same work site as Terry. And like Terry, Ron is a war veteran and it's that war experience that ultimately bonds the two characters together. Ron, in our story, is the link between the indigenous and non-indigenous communities in our show. He's uh, a leader figure in his community, and um, I guess that's essentially part of his struggle is, throughout the show, is how to protect his mob while trying to carve out a life in a, a largely European world that in the 1950s was very much set against him and his mob. One of my favourite scenes, and I guess when I say favourite, it, it's the one that really stu has stuck with me, was a scene that we shot out on the mission. It's the night that the police come to the mission and all the community members scatter into the bush. It was kind of a, a harrowing part of our history to retell, and I love that the show has gone there, hasn't shied away from it. But that night in particular, any Australian, particularly Indigenous Australians and members of the Stolen Generation will, you know, it'll stoke some, some feelings when they watch that particular scene. And, and certainly for Tricia Morton Thomas, who plays Auntie May and myself, we certainly felt it acting it. You know, it's not lost on me that being born in 1979, uh, the official policy of removing children, Aboriginal children from their families only ended in the 70s. Um, so it's a sobering thought, really. And as a father myself, I can't imagine living in a world where that was official public policy, to have my children removed from me because of the colour of my skin. And so, of course, we had all that playing on our minds throughout the scene. So it, it was uh, an important scene to pay due respect and honour to because it's, um, it's a huge wound in our country. And um, it's something that I'm, I'm happy was in the show treated with great respect and, and sensitivity. So that was certainly uh, a scene that has stayed really close to me. You know, sometimes I miss the war. Why? In wartime, I was just like anyone else. But here, You're the only white fellow that sat and had lunch with me. Can't be that bad, surely. To see your country fight for the persecution of people on the other side of the world, not do the same here. What are you gonna do? I'll say if someone slaps your right cheek, turn to them with the other. But I reckon my mob have been slapped enough. It's about time we slap back. <laughs>